Hello there. I've got a lot of half-finished projects from making videos, stuff when I showed or tried a particular technique. So today I'll finish one of these. I'll use this recently done braid twist and make a bottle opener. I need to give a big shout out to my man Sonny Belson for a recent very generous donation. Big thanks. I sometimes let my hammers sleep with the fishes to swell the wood and tighten them up. This small drift is made from just mild steel, so I don't mind banging it repeatedly against my anvil face. This drift, however, is made from H13, and so I don't want to bang it repeatedly against my anvil. A quick tap on the side freeze up the workpiece. What did I just say about not banging against the anvil face? Well, here I'm just gently tapping. This drift also works very well for forming the catch. I give this a second go to elongate and thin out that catch just a little bit more.
the transition between the braided handle end and the bottle opener end doesn't seem to flow well. So I use my guillotine tool with flat dies to thin out the section in between. I like to put about a quarter inch of offset between the catch and the part that rests on top of the bottle cap. This is just a personal preference and it probably doesn't have to be done. It just makes using the bottle opener a little bit more ergonomic. This should work a little bit better. I can't believe this set hammer slash flatter, which I made in a video, is my most viewed video. There's just no telling. Here I just want to push the catch down just a tiny bit without losing my offset. I find this kind of bent knee tongue that I make to be very useful, very versatile. I'm sure this one will work very well. Catch you guys next time.